All right, we'll get started. Any position to begin for opening breath and then our breath exercise can be done lying down if you prefer lying down or take a moment to get comfortable sitting so your spine can be tall and your belly, your ribs free to move with your breath. Settle your attention on the breath. In a spacious way, so the breath has room to slow down, to grow. Let go of any gripping around the low ribs and the abdomen, and the lowest parts of the belly and pelvis. So even though this might technically be the opposite of the diaphragmatic physiological action, what I want you to feel is relaxing to allow the breath in. And as the breath empties out towards the end of the exhale, engage the abdominals, squeezing the ribs in just enough to elongate the exhale breath. And then relax completely. Allow a fresh breath to flush through you. Linger on the end of the exhale, ushering it out. Add the gentle constriction at the back of the throat that gives your breath the ujjayi whisper sound. We'll transition into Viloma Pranayama, stage one. When you breathe in, you'll breathe in in five little sips. So take a sip, pause, sip, pause, sip, pause, sip, pause, sip, pause, until you're full. And then we'll hold the breath for five slow beats, trying to match the hold to the inhale. And then slow ujjayi exhale for five counts. So let's begin together. Wherever you are in your breath cycle, Empty out, and if your nose is clear, sip in through your nose and pause. Sip in and pause. Sip in, pause, in, 
pause, in to hold. Tall spine if you're sitting, chin slightly down. And if you want to engage Mula Bandha, you can. But then release your Mula Bandha for your slow Ujjayi exhale. Again, sip in, pause five times. Maybe engaging Mula Bandha on the pauses, releasing to breathing. And hold your breath at the top. Relax your mula bond. Exhale. If the mula bond's too much, skip it. Just focus on the breath. Again, five little sips in. A comfortable pause in between each one. And then hold the breath in. Feel the energy, the tension build, but you stay relaxed through your eyes, through your face, and teeth are separated. Slow exhale. Continue on your own for a few rounds. If you need to do less beats, or if you're craving more, you can change the number. Complete the round you're on and then do one more full round before returning to your continuous breath. Transition to all fours. Come onto your elbows and knees for dolphin prelude. Wrap your hands around your upper arms. Get your elbows right under shoulders, keep them there. Clasp your hands. Walk the knees back a couple inches, be out to the sides, and then lean the hips back. Keep them up as you rest forehead on the ground. Optional, lifting the hands off the earth without moving the elbows any wider. And then feel for the upper back softening between your shoulder blades. You can decide how active you want to be through the tailbone, the hips lengthening back to take some pressure off the neck, but still finding the softness in the upper back, around the shoulders and the neck. Continue your ujjayi breath. Inhaling into the ribs near your armpits, spread wide. Exhale, separate your teeth, rest the tongue on the roof of the mouth lightly. 
Inhale into the low back ribs. Relax your low belly out. Exhale, invite the low abdominals in to help press the air out. One more breath here. Return to sitting position. Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together. Or cross-legged seat. Two rounds Udiana. We'll take a big breath in. Empty out completely like you're blowing out candles. And then hold your breath out. Tuck your chin in. While you hold the breath out, pull the belly in and up into your flared rib cage, flying the diaphragm up. When it's time to breathe in again, relax the belly and repeat. We'll start together, but then you can do the next one, maybe two on your own. Let's fill up with breath. Flare the whole rib cage out, front sides and back ribs. Get taller. And then empty out completely. <sighs> Hold your breath out. Tuck your chin in. Draw navel to spine. And then fly the abdominal muscles up inside the rib cage. Spine straight, shoulders back, chin down. Hold the breath out as long as you can. When you have to breathe, relax belly and repeat. And come into cross-legged seat or half lotus, right on left if your hips are already open. Cross your arms across your chest. Inhale, lift the back ribs up, lengthen the back of the spine through back of neck, through crown. Exhale, twist to your right. With each in-breath, lift the side and back ribs up. With each exhale, draw the sides of the waist in to spiral you to the right. One more breath here. And exhale, release the hands down, left hand to right knee. Stay soft as you ease into the twist. Please don't squish or grind into these tissues. It's a gentle wringing out. Inhale. Exhale, center. Change the cross of your legs. Arms across your chest, then other arm on top. Feel for ending up with the opposite arm. Actually, I have no idea if this is my opposite arm. Inhale, lift your back ribs up. Exhale, stay tall through back of spine as you start to twist to the left. Close your eyes. Keep your chin lined up right over the middle of your chest. And feel for the ribs expanding up off your waist as you breathe in. And then drawing back towards the spine as you spiral. Exhale. Exhale, right hand to left knee. Ease into your twist. And release the pose. Come on to your back for elbow to knee. Stage one. Lying on your back with your knees bent, feet on the earth. Activate the feet. Lift and spread the ten toes off the earth, away from each other. Your foot bones widening. Hands interlock behind your neck, fully supporting the skull, the neck in your hands as you curl head and shoulders off the earth. 
Inhale, press your low back flat down into the ground. Exhale, both elbows to your right thigh. Pick your right foot up so your knee lines up right over pelvis, like it's reaching for the sky. Pull belly down. Inhale, center. Press the low back flat. Shoulders remain up the whole series. Exhale, twist left. Activate both feet. Pull your belly down. Inhale, center. Press the low back flat. Lift your shoulders. Exhale, twist to the right. Pick the right foot up. Pull low belly down. Inhale, center. Press the low back flat. Exhale, twist left. Navel to spine. Gently press head back into the hands. Make sure the throat is relaxed. Take three more to each side. Some of you are craving to move into stage two. That's fine. Do that. Feel for a suppleness in the low belly, receiving the breath in and then squeezing the breath out, not necessarily tightening, but engaging. When your rounds are done, rest your head and feet down. Bring the arms down alongside the body for bridge. Press your feet down, tuck your tailbone into the body and press hips to ceiling. Any arm variation, if you want to relax the arms or interlock hands or reach arms up overhead. You could do that. And then connect to the strength of your legs, drawing the thigh bones forward away from your hips, from your chest. Keep the belly in as you breathe the rib cage and chest toward your chin. Take one more breath. Free your hands if they're underneath you, tuck your tail and slowly roll upper back, middle back down, pause with your hips just above the earth, curl the tailbone up some more, draw navel to spine, and then roll your pelvis down. Come to all fours. table extensions. Be on your hands spread wide or come up onto your fists if that's safer for your wrists. Press the earth away to lift out of shoulders. Lengthen the pelvis straight back. Actually, you can lengthen tailbone. A little bit of tuck is okay here as you connect to your abdominals. Right arm forward, thumb to sky. Gaze is at the earth. Chin retracting a little bit into the throat so the back of the neck is lengthening. Whole spine long. Option to extend left leg back simultaneously or set your right hand down and reach the left leg back. Breathe into the low back ribs. Exhale, squeeze the front ribs back into your belly. Hand down, knee down, firm up your tabletop, press the earth away. Feel for both sitting bones pointing straight back. Breathe into low back ribs. Exhale, left arm forward, thumb to sky. Turning the thumb up to wrap the left shoulder blade around your armpit. Feeling this close off the muscles around your armpit firing. And maybe you add the extension of right leg. Maybe you choose to set left foot down. I mean, sorry, left hand down and focus on the right leg extending back with your hips staying balanced. Lift out of your left low belly. Shift your weight to the right.
Breathe into back ribs. Lift them away from kidneys. Exhale, knee down. Downward facing dog. Walk feet to hands or hands to feet. Find your way up to standing. Keep breathing. Calf stretching. I forgot to remind you to grab a towel or a blanket. Find something that you can roll up. So it ends up being a it doesn't have to be a tube. It can be half this size. It only needs to fit one foot, about the size of a yoga mat, four to six inches. And yes, you can use a rolled up yoga mat. Then stand behind your roll in Tadasana, feet parallel to each other, hips width apart, outside edges of the feet actually parallel to the edges of your mat. So different movement modalities will tell you parallels, different things, some say inner edges. I found it effective outside edges. If that feels like it knocks your knees in, put your hands on your thighs. Just brush your fingertips against thighs. Roll to the outside edges of your feet so you feel your thighs roll open. See if you can maintain that external rotation of the thighs as you plant the foot back down. Invite your hips back. So the outer hip bone lines up over the outer ankle, butts out a little bit. Breathe the low back ribs, the lowest ribs, back in line with your sacrum. And then ramp your chin back, skull in line. Put one hand on your belly, one hand on your sacrum. Inhale, low back ribs, fan out, low belly relaxes. Exhale, hug low abdominals in. Keep that breath rhythm going as you put one foot on the roll. Use hands on pelvis to maintain the balance you've created. If the foot on the roll wants more stretch, then start to walk your standing foot forward, either in line with it or in front of it. And rotate the outer thighs away from each other. Breathe into low back ribs. Relax low belly. Exhale, hug low belly in. Step off your roll, put it in front of the other foot, put your other hand on your belly, other hand on your sacrum, shift your hips back, and if you can see yourself, aim for outer hip bone over ankles, and breathe the low back ribs over your sacrum, the lowest ribs down here, and ramp the chin back. I'm not too concerned with shoulders coming back now, just because most of our shoulders are so tight. If our shoulders come back, our low ribs will pop back in. Step your other foot on the roll if you haven't already. Keep your pelvis steady but buoyant. It's not like stiff. It's floating almost like a jellyfish. If you want to adjust left foot forward, go for it. I mean, standing foot. Breathe into the back ribs. Relax your low belly into your hand. Exhale, hug the low abdominals in. Take three more breaths like that. I'm 
come off your roll. Stand at the top of your mat in Tadasana. We'll do one half sun salute together. Then I'll talk us into a full sun salute A, but if you want to stay with the half suns, you'll keep doing this. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, hands to heart. Now you can choose half sun or full sun. Everyone, inhale, arms up. Breathe the low back ribs out. Exhale, forward fold. Hug low abdominals in. Inhale, half lift. Fan low back ribs. Exhale, chaturanga or forward fold. Inhale, rise to stand, half suns, upward dog, full suns, or cobra. Exhale, samastitihi, or downward dog. Down dog, stay and breathe. If you're standing up, inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Down dogs, come forward. Everyone, inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, samastitihi. Two more full suns or four more half suns. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, chaturanga or forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way to stand or up dog. Exhale, samastitihi, downward facing dog. Down dog, stay. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Down dog, step or jump forward. Everyone, inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale to your heart. Together, inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, chaturanga or fold. Inhale, rise to stand or upward dog. Exhale, samastitihi, downward dog. Down dog, stay and breathe. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Down dogs come forward. Inhale, lengthen spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to heart. So moving into standing series, inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Step your left leg back into runner's lunge. Landing on the back toes. Take a big enough step that your right knee lines up over the right heel. Contract both sitting bones in towards the tail. Draw navel to spine. And from that contracted center, lengthen the spine forward through the back of the neck and crown. And draw your left inner heel back to lengthen tail. Shoulders back. Chin in. Ujjayi breathing. Mm -hmm. 
warrior two. Spin the back heel down, rise. Reverse warrior with neck release and back traction. Reverse prep, lift the left hand up, breathe the left ribs out, and then lean back towards left leg. Not lean back, sideways, right arm over ear. So breathe the back ribs out and make sure you're not dipping into your low back at all, but lengthening, open the right side hip. Left hand comes to the left hip, right between the hip where the thigh bone comes out of hip. Press into that to make even more space in the pelvis, more length in both sides of the spine. Neck release, relax head towards left shoulder, lower right hand down towards right knee. Somewhere just above your knee, you'll feel your neck light up on the right side. Close your eyes and breathe into that. Runner's lunge, hands come down to either side or front foot, spin onto back toes. Once again, squeeze the sit bones in towards the tail. Scoop your low belly up off your pubic bone. Lengthen the front of your spine inside you. Twisting lunge, lower the back knee down. Right hand to hip, inhale, left arm forward or all the way up to lengthen spine. Exhale, left elbow crosses right thigh. You had it right, Doreen. Maybe your other leg is forward. Left elbow on the right thigh, right knee should be forward. And tuck your right hip underneath you. <laughs> Make a mental note to catch it on the second side. Good. Twisting warrior variation, left hand down to the ground, tuck the back toes, straighten your Back leg, right arm to sky, or hand can be on sacrum if you prefer. Wide angled forward fold, right hand down to left, walk your hands to the left. Straighten your right leg and turn your toes in. You're facing the side of the mat with feet parallel to each other. Flank stretch, bring your right hand to your left ankle. Left hand on the right hand. Relax your head into the right arm. Allow the right side body to sway towards the earth. Release to center. Inhale, half lift. Runner's lunge to left foot. So yes, I just turned you around on your mat. You don't have to turn around. You can just change legs. Left foot forward, runner's lunge. Contract, sitting bones to tailbone, navel to spine. And then lengthen out through the heel, back heel, and forward through crown of head. Breathe. Warrior two, spin the back heel down. Coming up into warrior two with your left knee bent. Reverse warrior pet prep. Pick your right hand up and inhale, lengthen the right ribs out. Then exhale, lower right hand down, left arm crosses ear. Right hand to right hip, massages it down. And then you can lean your ribs out towards right armpit. It's okay if your shoulder comes up in this variation. 
as both sides of the spine lengthen out of your pelvis. Neck release. Relax your head to right shoulder. Lower the left palm towards left knee. And when you find just the right traction through left side neck, close your eyes, press heels down, and run breath through your releasing neck. Twisting lunge, uh, runner's lunge, hands to either side of left foot. It's back around the left foot, come on to the back heel. I'm sorry, come on to your toes, spin off your heel. And then reconnect to center. Twisting lunge, lower your back knee down. Left hand to hip. Inhale, right arm reaches forward or up. Whatever helps you lengthen the rib cage off the pelvis. And then keep that length as you twist to the left. Twisting warrior variation, right hand down, tuck the back toes. Inhale, straighten right knee, left arm to sky, or left palm on sacrum. Wide angled forward fold, left hand comes down to the right, and then keep walking your hands to the right as you straighten your legs. And turn the toes in, heels out, facing side of mat. Flank stretch, left hand to right ankle. Right hand on the left hand. Head resting in the hammock of the left arm. Gravity and the breath between the ribs. Invite the spine to sway towards earth. Release towards center. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Hands to hips, elbows to sky. You might need to bend your knees a lot to help you come up to standing as you breathe in. Warrior two towards right foot. Turn the right toes out, bend the right knee. Relax your arms down for shoulder shrugs. Huge breath into your upper back. Hold the breath in, hike your shoulders to your ears, squeeze the tops of the shoulders up and back, and exhale, keep squeezing, pull them down. Inhale, spread the shoulders away from each other with breath. Exhale, squeeze the middle angles of the shoulder blades into your spine and slip them down another notch. Inhale, broaden upper back. Exhale, bottom ankles of shoulder blades try to touch. Maybe your arms stay relaxed or maybe you bend your elbows towards each other behind you to help dig them in. Eagle arms, right on top of left. Optional, bow your head down, maybe forehead resting right into your biceps. Either stay upright or optional. Emu, start to bow down between your two legs, maybe slightly closer towards the right leg, and send elbows towards earth. You bury your head in your biceps. I have my microphone in the way, so don't try to look like me. Relax your neck, ground your feet. Hamstring or sciatic issues, you might put your body right on your right thigh if you're coming down. 
that doesn't help, then stay upright. Release your arms, straighten your right leg, turn your toes in. Flank stretch to twist effects, right hand, left ankle. And you might stay in flank stretch like you did earlier. Or left hand can slide up to your hip. Turn your belly button towards your left knee. And then lean your spine back towards right leg. Right arm straightens. Optional opening left arm up or wrapping it behind your back. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, half lift. Spider, turn the toes out, the heels in. Hands can stay on earth or hold the fronts of your ankles or prop your elbows on your thighs. Long line from crown of head through tail. Keep lengthening that line. Breathe into the back ribs. Exhale, scoop the low abdominals off your pubic bone. Bring your hands onto your thighs, tuck your tailbone down, and come up to standing. Turn your right toes in, left toes out, warrior two, left foot. Relax your arms down, shoulder shrugs. Inhale into upper back. Hold this first breath in. Hike your shoulders up to touch your ears. Squeeze the shoulders up and back. Exhale, keep squeezing and massage them into your upper back. Relax arms, relax shoulders, inflate your upper back. Exhale, squeeze middle angles of the shoulder blades in towards spine. See if you can keep the arms relaxed and use your back muscles to squeeze shoulders into spine. Inhale, broaden upper back with breath. Exhale, bottom angles of shoulder blades try to touch. Maybe this time the elbows bent and try to touch behind you or you can just use your back muscles. Eagle arms, left on top of right. Optional eagle neck release. Bury your face in your biceps. Optional emu, bow. Elbows head towards the earth, either between your legs or closer to left foot. Or again, all the way onto left thigh. If your hips, low back could use some support. Release your arms, straighten your left leg, turn the toes in. Left hand to right ankle. Right hand slides up to hip. Or stay in flank stretch with right hand on left hand. Twist effects, turn your belly button towards. Lean back away from the right leg towards the left leg. Keep rolling right shoulder open, especially if you want to extend it or wrap it behind back. Forward fold. Spider, inhale, half lift. Turn your toes out, your heels in. Bend your knees. Hips might drop as low as knees. Not lower than that. Hands on ground, ankles or elbows to thighs. Reach your sitting bones back. Breathe the low back ribs forward. Deep lunge. Walk your hands over to right foot, heel toe right foot aside so both hands end up to the inside of right foot. Back knee down, maybe elbows on the mat.
Ujjayi breathing. Slow your breath. Feel it saturate your right hip. Pyramid. Walk your foot between your hands. Step onto the back foot, eh, left foot, maybe two and a half feet behind the right. Toes angled up 45 degrees. Inhale, lift and lengthen your spine directly over your right big toe. Exhale, fold. Or if you prefer to stay lengthened, maybe your hands are on blocks. Runner's lunge. Bend your right knee. Optional extension. Make fist with left hand. Reach right arm forward. Thumb to sky. Keep your chest parallel to earth. Hug the sides of the hips in. Draw the low ribs in and up. Warrior three. Shift your weight onto right leg. Left leg floats up, maybe hip height, heart. Mm, pull your ribs up into your belly so your spine lengthens away from your left heel. Any arm variation. Lower down to your belly. Lie on your belly, arms down alongside the body. Feet as close together as is comfortable for your low back. Pretend to squeeze something between them. They don't have to get close. Inhale, lift shoulders, lift everything, shoulders, hands, and feet. Reach the balls of the feet back, breathe your sternum forward. Keep squeezing your imaginary block between your ankles. Send it backwards. Roll the shoulders back. Lower down. Rest your head on your hands or turn your cheek, turn your head to the left, rest on right cheek. Chin or forehead back to center. Interlock hands behind your back or leave them alongside body again. If hands are interlocked, I recommend bringing the palms together to touch. So that when you inhale, straighten your arms, your wrist will be straight. Legs reaching back, sending your invisible block back. Turn the fronts of your ankles in towards it. Breathe the side ribs underneath your armpits forward. Exhale, lower down. Rest here or downward dog. If you're resting, look to the right, rest on left cheek or fold your hands. Deep lunge, left foot steps to the outside of left hand, back knee down. Pyramid, hands on either side of front foot. For your one-legged hamstring stretch. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Extend the spine directly over your big toe, belly button towards toe. You can stay extended. Plenty of hamstring stretch there. Or relax your neck. Well, you can stay extended and relax your neck.
runner's lunge. Slide onto the back toes, bend the left knee directly over ankle. Optional extension, fist with the right hand so knuckles can stay on ground, left arm forward. Not a lot of weight in this right hand. Stay connected to your two feet on the ground. Squeeze sitting bones to tail. Warrior three. Your choice of transition, forward fold, or find your way back to down dog. Let's take a moment to go upside down. One or two minutes. So I will talk through down dog on wall or chair. If you prefer instead to lie down with your legs up a wall, or maybe put a block underneath your hips to elevate your hips above your heart, or you can practice your shoulder stands, your head stands, any upside down shape. I don't have access to my wall, so I will show this on the chair. But if this were the wall, same setup. If you want to be meticulous about it, you can sit up against your wall and where your feet end up is where I want you to place your hands. So you're going to be in this shape upside down. So hands are placed my feet. If you're working on a wall, so you end up in this like short, weird beginners down dog, bend your knees as much as you need. If you were at a wall, your feet would not go higher than your hips, just hip height so that when you press forward, your hips line up over your hands, ideally. As you're learning this, yes, you might be backwards a little bit, but I would not continue to practice like this. It's stressful for the shoulder joints. Using the wall or chair gives you place to relax your head and neck. Of course, you can play with one leg up if this is a regular part of your practice. Try to get at least 15 to 20 breaths, whatever upside down variation you're in. It doesn't have to be in a row. You can take breaks. But really focus on absorbing those upside down breaths. Those of you in the supported shoulder stands, supported inversions might notice how your heartbeat starts to slow down after about eight breaths. Your breath easily fills out. Take about hmm, five breaths to wrap up your upside down practice. Oh yeah. And you probably wanna be much closer to that chair, Cynthia. Like walk your hands back a good eight inches. That's a smart idea. Those of you who are upside down on a block, bend your knees, put one foot on the ground at a time. And if you want, you can stay here in this like supported, really relaxed bridge shape with your, either your knees bent or you can straighten your legs out, kind of a supported fish shape. If that does not work for your back, come off the block, come into happy baby. Those of you in the bridge shape on the block, maybe the knees actually knock in together and you feel for a softening of the contents of low belly towards sacrum, ilio psoas release. See if you can wrap your shoulders, Cynthia, turn your biceps towards the, well, I guess towards the camera, your triceps in towards your ears.
Those of you in the iliopsoas release on the block, press your feet down to take the block away and ease your way into happy baby. Those of you in the more active inversions, yes, child's pose with head on contact with ground, or you can do any other seated neck release. Make your way towards relaxation. Once you are settled, I'll talk you into the second part of the pranayam, Veloma stage two. So if you come into your settling shape and you are ready to let go, well, that's pretty advanced. Tune me out. And it's okay if you turn me off. Continue your practice of let go. Veloma stage two, the reverse of how we breathed before. This time the inhale will be a slow, continuous ujjayi breath, up to five counts. At the top, suspend your breath. And exhale in five little sips. So leak the breath out and pause out and pause, like letting go of a balloon and then squeezing. And then start again. Inhale five. Hold for five. Little sips out, pause, out, pause out, pause, out. Begin again, up to three more rounds on your own. Smooth inhale, hold, and then leak the breath out in little stages. Eventually let go completely. And of course, if you want to stay in the let go process, leave my voice in the background. Stay with the sensations of body on earth sinking in. 
you're ready to come up, invite small movements back into the body. Start at fingers and toes. Gradually grow into hands, wrists, maybe full body stretch. Stay connected with those sensations of body and earth as you press your way up to sitting. May our practice benefit not only us, but may all beings everywhere know peace, be happy, healthy, safe. Namaste. Mm -hmm.